y'all this is Dina welcome to my channel y'all I am back this afternoon I am on my lunch break and I am back um, to show y'all my Hallmark Christmas movie watching kids so um, y'all know that I've had this coming and all that so I wanted to show you how these have turned out I have done this in the past the last two to three years I have done these and um, last year I did like a cute little pink box with the window in the top so you could see what's in there. This year, y'all, I am using these pink clear, or these clear plastic totes. Um, and so anyway, I think that they have just turned out so cute. So this is what I have done. So I have added a little bow on here. I did add this tag. This is the one I've used for the last two years. Um, this is something I can't share because I purchased it on um, on Etsy and I don't feel comfortable sharing that with someone. But if you go to Etsy and type in Hallmark Christmas movie, tons of them will come up. The only thing I did was alter this down here at the bottom. Um, I altered it to say watching kit and so forth. But you can alter them whenever you purchase them or whatever. So that is where I got that from. Um, the ribbon, I got it from Hobby Lobby. These, of course, came from Walmart and so forth. And let's just get going on this. Okay, so I'm going to grab one of my plastic totes here. One of the clear ones. That's what it looks like. So I'm just going to go through and show you how I packed these and what I did. So let me make sure you're down here. So I thought I was going to have to put some kind of chipboard or something in the bottom, but once I kind of worked with them, they, they stayed up okay. So I opened it up, and what I did is I put a little bit of red and white shred in the bottom. So I did like a little handful of white in the bottom, and then I did a little bit of red in the bottom just to uh, give it some color in the bottom too and it makes it festive and then I have uh, any of those out of the way here so what I did now is I have got fuzzy socks purchase these at Walmart if you saw my Walmart haul last week I showed that I had purchased these so all I do just kind of I roll them up I'm using a piece of white ribbon. You can use any ribbon you want. And I just tie it so they kind of stay in a little ball. If you want to put them like in some plastic or something like that, you could do that too. But I didn't feel the need. Okay, so I'm just going to tie this. I just want to make sure that my bow. Okay, so make sure everything's looking good. Uh, let me trim off this side. Okay, there we go. So I got my got my um, socks. Go ahead and put it in the bottom. You can put them upward or sideways, whichever you prefer. Okay, so then um, what I put in here, I have a pack of popcorn. And I just took some Christmas paper from the paper collection that I purchased um, at at uh, Michael's the other day and I just wrapped a little around it just to make just to make it festive. You can see this one the paper is red. So I'm just gonna add popcorn. Okay, so I got my popcorn, two packs of, of hot cocoa. Add those in. So it's already getting cozy on you. Kleenex, just in case you need it if you're watching a drippy movie. Okay, then I also am adding a pack of gum. I did find this at Costco. I think I got it for like 12 or $13 for a box, a whole bunch, box of uh, like 16. Then here is my two Ghirardellis that I purchased. I have a, cho a dark chocolate and a, a white chocolate. So I'm just going to go 
go ahead and I'm going to just go and I I put them inside of a little plastic just because I thought it'd be pretty. Now I have these little these um cute little um stickers and I just have them in my stash. And I don't want the to and from on there, so what I've been doing is kind of cutting it just so I wanted the cute picture. Okay. And then I just kind of closed it up like that. So I'm putting it down inside here. Okay. So I have popcorn. I have fuzzy socks. I have some chocolate. I have Kleenex, hot cocoa. And then I'm going to grab my peppermints. These are, oops, sorry about that, y'all. These are the soft, puffy kind. Just a nice handful. Okay. And if they look kind of funky, I didn't put them in there because sometimes, you know, these things are made differently. So it's like already a good amount of things in my, my, my uh, packs here. Okay, so I think I have everything. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm going to add a little bit more shred on the top. And just to kind of make it pretty. Okay. And there goes that. Now, I, you wanna put, uh, you wanna have a list of what is in the kit. So I've typed this up. I actually had this saved on my Cricut Design Space. So the kit includes fuzzy socks, uh, microwave popcorn, two, po two hot cocos, two Garo Deli chocolates, one Kleenex pack, a pack of gum, and some soft peppermint candy. Okay, so what I thought it would be good is I did find this one in the Cricut Design Space and I cut them out last night on my Cricut. So I'm gonna go ahead and Add this, just kind of put it in the center. Okay, so there we go, got this in. I'm gonna go ahead, what I did instead of like hanging this on the outside, I just slipped this down inside the pack. It tells them exactly what's inside. Then you're able to snap these clothes. They have a little snap on the top, so it was perfect. So see how they stay closed? Okay, so then if you remember, I um, purchased these at Walmart last week. So I wanted to add a little something a little festive. So I'm just gonna put the cute little ginger on the handle. And I just used the same um, jute that it came with. Didn't even have to change it. So look, at it's already making it festive already. And then oh, lastly, I'm going to do my tag and a bow. So the tag, like I said, I got this on Etsy. So if you're interested, you can locate it on Etsy. Go ahead and I'm gonna layer it up on some red. And I'm just going to trim it. And you can use your paper trimmer if you want. I just find this is just as easy. So I got that. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to grab my 1 8 inch hole punch. This is a EK Success. I've had it a long time, got it at Michael's at one time. I know that you could probably get it at um, Amazon. I've seen it there. Okay, so then you're gonna take some twine or your whatever you choose. And I'm going to go ahead, I'm gonna give myself a nice long piece. Now this part is optional for you, whatever, however you wanna decorate them, but this is just how I'm doing it, y'all. Craft fair is two months from today, eight weeks. So I'm feeling good about everything. I really am. Okay, so I'm just gonna tie a little knot so it's there. Like that, okay. 
And then I, I'm using this ribbon, got it from Hobby Lobby, and I'm just making a simple little bow. I'm going to put this here. Let me grab one of my elastics. As you know I like the elastics. They work well when I'm making easy little bows like this. Got those on Amazon as well. So now you're just going to kind of pinch the center of your bow. And I'm going to pull it. Okay, don't drop it, Dana. Okay, and the nice thing is this is wired so you can kind of make this super cute and fluffy and all the good stuff. I'm going to go fold these in half. I'm going to kind of trim it like that. I'm going to trim this one. Like that. So I got myself my bow. And what I did is I did take an extra little piece of twine to kind of um, cover up the elastic. Okay, so I'm just gonna cover it up just so it's, just so the elastic is covered there. Tying my knot a couple times, make sure. Okay, so now I've got my little bow and you can refix it after you get it on. So then what I did is I took my tag. I wanted it kind of hang out underneath here. So I took my tag and I just kind of put it where it put it where it was like gonna be hanging out. Right here. And then I'm going to tie Kind of tie a knot on here. You just have to attach it some way. I'm gonna tie a little knot just so it's attached. Then I'm going to attach it to the other handle. I like to take mine and kind of wrap it. Kind of wrap it around the handle a little bit. And then I just kind of wrap it a couple times. And I'm gonna tie a knot. There we go. Trim off my twine. You can make it shorter if you like. And there we go. So you can make this a little shorter up here. I might bring it up just a little bit. Let me see if I can bring it up a little bit. I want it to be up a little more. Okay. There we go, brought it up just a tad. I'm going to tie a knot so it stays. Oopsie. Kind of got that one. I can do it. I can do it. Okay. Just going to hang that down below. And there you go. This is how I put together my kits for this year. I love how they have turned out. They are simply beautiful. And look, so you've got what it is. You've got a cute decoration. You've got the goodies inside. You've got what's in the pack. Let me open this up. I want to push that down a little more. So I'm going to push this. 
So now you've got what comes in the kit. It's all full, it's festive, and better yet, once they're done with the goodies inside, the handle bag is reusable. So let's quickly talk about pricing on this. And I really haven't just sat down and just figured out exactly how much I have spent on everything. So I'm just gonna do a guesstimated price, okay? So we're gonna talk about everything that's in the kit. So I think that my the socks, I don't wanna write on this one because I need it. Let me see, I had some post-it notes. What did I do with it? Bear with me while I find some paper, y'all. Okay, I'm gonna go on the back of this receipt. So, the socks, I'm gonna give myself 250. Cause I remember I got the socks at Walmart, okay? Pack of popcorn, um, the pack of popcorn, it was $6, I think, and there was 12 in a pack. So, okay, so let's talk pricing. So I have these items in my bag, in my tote. So I stopped and I broke it down how much everything is. Excuse my messy writing, okay? The socks, I'm going to give myself $2.50 for the socks. The popcorn, there was like $5.99 for a box of 12, so I'm giving myself $0.50 cents for the popcorn. Two packs of cocoa, I'm going to give myself $0.20 cents for each pack, so that'd be $0.40. Cents. The Gary Deli chocolate, I'm just going to give myself $0.50 cents for the chocolate. The Kleenex, I'm just going to do $0.20 because I got them at the Dollar Tree um, whenever everything was a dollar. Um, the gum, I'm just going to give myself a dollar. The peppermints, the handful, I'm just giving myself $0.25 because it was super cheap. The totes, um, I got on Amazon and they are $15.99 for $20. So I'm just going to do a dollar for each tote. So that it was really a little less. I'm just going to add myself a dollar. And then the paper shred and the ribbon, I'm just going to add a dollar. So really it came to like $7.35, $7.35 to make it. These are going to be sold for $15 at my craft fair. I think that more than covers it. The time consuming part is just stuffing the bags. Um, I already had this created on my, uh, my Cricut Design Space. The ribbon's easy to make. This was already created. I just had altered a little bit and I just printed it, cut it out. That's it, easy. So that is it. That's the Christmas movie watching kits for this year. I have got now 10 more to finish. Finish this up, everything is packaged. All I have to do is just add the tags on and put the ribbon and put the tag in the bag and they're done. So anyway, that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you'll give this a try if you haven't, haven't before. And um, yeah, just be creative, whatever you wanna put in your Hallmark movie watching kits, just whatever you wanna put and whatever you think might make them cozy. Now I was, I usually put the Pepperidge Farm Milano cookies, the individual packs. My stores did not have it. Someone did recommend you can get them on Amazon, but I have ordered like food items on Amazon. Like one time I ordered the peppermint spoons and they all came broken. It was such a waste. I was so sad. So I really don't want to order on Amazon the food items if I don't have to, but I think this is fine. I just added chocolate in the place of the cookies. So I think it'll be just fine. And um, I think it's going to be something fun for anybody that would want to receive a gift. And these are great because the tote itself, once you've emptied out everything, you have a nice clear tote that you can use. Anyway, that is it. I hope you guys have an awesome Monday and I will catch you in my next one. Love you guys. Bye.